Hello everybody, welcome to Divine Intervention. There's one that has, you know, just came to my awareness today. Before I continue, I need to make clear that every time or if ever that I use anyone on YouTube as an example in any of my videos, it is by no means to attack the other person. I can care less. It doesn't bother me one bit and there's no benefit for me either to do that. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is for education purposes. That's it. Because of the fact there's so many fake spiritual beings on YouTube <laughs> and it's a free will world that we live in, I can also do whatever I please and whatever I like. But best believe that whatever choices that I make in regards to that in this channel, God knows my heart. I'm not in it to attack anybody or step on anyone. Again, it's for clarity. It's so that you, the viewers, those of you who are spiritually gifted, can see the difference in what I truly mean when I say, not everybody is legit, okay? That is the purpose of this video and the purpose of any other video that I use, a person or anything of any sort, no matter where it is, <laughs> in any of my videos, okay? The intention is pure. I'm not here to step on anyone. I'm not here to attack anybody. No, I'm here to give clarity and I'm here to educate because there's a lot of you who's fallen victims to these so-called spiritual beings. Ukraine and Russia is in war right now. So with that being said, I know the intensity of the spiritual warfare that's actually happening right at this moment in time. As an angelic being, I'm not going to say exactly, specifically, in detail all those things because not everybody is in the right vibrational energy to receive the wisdom that comes from heaven and that's why I'm just going to keep it silent. Many of you know that I don't say everything. <laughs> Many of you know that I don't like to waste time because I don't like your time to be wasted. So best believe that every video that I upload, it is for your benefit. It's for your benefit and only your benefit, okay? It does not do me anything. It's for you, okay? Whatever energy you receive from me and from my twin, be grateful to God. Not to me, not to my twin. Although we are flattered, we are humbled and we are thankful. But the one and only one that you should be all the more grateful to, to even find me and my twin, is our almighty God. That's it. Okay? And there's a reason I'm saying that. Because, again, there's a lot of these fake spiritual beings on YouTube. <laughs> they can fool many, but they cannot fool true spiritual beings like myself and my twin. I hope that is clear. I had to make it clear before I begin in this video. I want you guys to listen to this woman speak. Now, for the sake of educational purposes, I will blur her face. <laughs> I want you to watch this and I want you to observe her. I want you to observe every word that she's saying. And I want you to take in that energy. Again, you are protected in this video. So don't worry, okay? I just want you guys to look into that. I want you to watch this clip and then I'll give you my feedback after. Really did kind of bring up my Hydra. Um, so you're gonna kind of see that emanation of myself today as I um, uh, address um, the topic matter of the Salem witch hunts that I was asked about. So in that update, um, I did mention the Salem witch hunts. And so um, people were asking me uh, uh, 
you know, decoding what I was talking about, um, as you are going to have to kind of decode my language somewhat when you listen to me, as um, that's just kind of how things work work here in the world of the beast machines is we have to kind of encode the language due to um, certain aspects that feed into um, the little black cube spaceships that are reporting back to the rings of Saturn. And so um, when I was speaking of the Salem witch hunts, I was ultimately speaking of the culling laws um, that were taking place down in the Lone Star State. Okay. And so um, Again, just keep in mind when I'm speaking of these things, I'm speaking encoded. So if it's a word that um, you think you might need to look up, then you probably should because I'm saying it for a specific reason. And that's also kind of alluding to um, the depth of my perspective on it, to be honest with you. And um, so you must decode to grasp the true nature in which I am speaking today. But yes, I was asked to give my perspective on the subject matter. And again, like I said, that really did bring up my Hydra. Um, and so that alone, if you know the sole mission of the Hydra, you kind of know where I'm going to be coming from on this topic matter. But I'll do my best to give it from a spiritual perspective of unity um, and um, uh just kind of let you know where i stand on these matters so i understand that this is a very difficult and controversial topic as many of you know um that it does get polarized very 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 deeply or <laughs> should i say very shallowy um within the uh, politics and program belief systems of religion and the patriarchal domination and control uh, predominantly within christianity and catholicism it is less politicized, believe it or not, in Islam and Judaism. Um, these issues don't seem to kind of be at the forefront of their politics. They are more uh, within the personal dealings of everyone's, you know, private family matters, um, more so, even though the women of Islam are working through these more severe forms of Sharia law, um, where the women actually do not have any rights form of giving and receiving and reciprocity that's taking place that does appear to be so horrid and rigid to the Western perspective. Okay, so I am want you to know 100%, I am not in any way I'm um, sitting on this side of the world saying there are 100% no injustices served um, to, the, to the women on that part of the world because um, I am 100% an empath, I am 100% compassionate, and I 100% see through BS. Okay. And so, um, um, if I, if I get a sense or a whiff of oppression, then I am going to vouch and I'm going to stand. I'm going to speak up for what I feel is right. Um, in that I say is not all of these women on the Eastern and the Middle Eastern parts of the world are actually maybe fully suppressed in the ways that we, that Americans in the Western world think that they are the fact that they're covered up and all of these things, right? That they're wearing um, their uh, uh, covers, their veils over their eyes, and that they're, that they're not seen, that this means that they're not heard or that they're not seen. And, you know, and it very much could mean that they're not seen and they're not heard, okay? But um, like I said, there's a different level of exchange in which women are protected over there as well. Um, so there are certain facets of things that serve for different purposes and reasons for the way that um, their side of the world actually functions in terms of their religion, their laws, and their belief systems and structures is what I'm saying. To our freedom here in the Western world, it appears as an atrocity. Um, but the women here in the United States also cannot see the marginalization that is placed upon them. They also cannot see the over-sexualization um, and um, this uh, reflection of degradation that is placed upon um, our women. So the title of her video talking about that was titled Salem witch hunts <laughs> but she is not talking about witches <laughs> what she's talking about is women in islam who wears covering 
and they're not allowed to dress a certain way like here in America. In America, a lot of people wear whatever they want to wear. Women have freedom, everybody has freedom, it's the end of the free. In other countries, like in where she was saying, they don't have that. Women rights, women freedom are limited. They have to dress a certain way, they have to act a certain way, right? It's more political. Everything that she was saying is all political. What is meant to happen is meant to happen, regardless if we can accept it, regardless if it hurts to accept, it's meant to happen, it will happen. And there's nothing that we can do to control it. There are people who are in the government for a reason. They are there to make a difference. They are there to do something about it. And if they don't do something about it, well, then maybe that's their destiny because it's their karma. Everything is connected spiritually. Everyone is connected. That's why when it comes to politics, true spiritual beings who are truly spiritual always have a balance this next video okay that i'm going to show you is what she posted on one of her videos and she titled it this decoding twin flames etc what did i say before i will still say today if you are not a twin you have no right to meddle in it. It's like saying, you're a cardiologist. Your specialty is heart surgery. Why are you going to meddle in a surgery that you don't specialize in? Please, explain to me. I don't understand that. I want you guys to watch this, and I will tell you what is wrong in this. And I will tell you what it can do to those who are true twin flames who watch this video. I am shielding you right now. You're protected watching this video, so don't worry about it. Namaste. I am Indigo Angel. And I welcome you to a cosmic quantum twin flame deprogramming transcend the entire twin matrix what she was doing as she was walking the stairs up and down the stairs left and right trying her best not to be obvious of course because she doesn't want people to think she's crazy at least we have to give her credit for that because at least she's consciously aware of that right so she's doing that going back and forth she's doing something but guess what she's just being used by someone to do all of that you know who a demon see that's the problem when you don't have this open you don't see and those like her and those who play a part or try to play a scenic you know try to make it look like oh i'm spiritual i'm lighting a candle i'm wrapping this in two etc first of all do you know that in every color of candle is based on an intent, that's one. And it's based on the power of the color of that candle, that's two. Three, never ever use any other color candle aside from white. Most especially if you are not highly spiritually gifted. Why? Because it's a mix of energies. You may not know what you're doing. Again, people will be like, oh, I need to do this for a video. I need to look good in this video. I need to make it look like it's real. Like, I need to convince everyone who's watching me that what I'm doing will convince them that I am who I am. I am who I say I am. So therefore, I'm going to light a candle. I'm going to show them that I'm lighting these candles and I'm going to show them that I'm doing what I said I would do. But let me ask you, when you're doing that, do you really know what you're doing? 
Do you know the effects of what you're doing? You should not light any other candle aside from white. I'm already telling everyone who's been guided to this video, do not light any other candle aside from white. White only, unless you are truly spiritually gifted and highly spiritually awake. That is the only time that you can use different colored candles. But looking at her, she's a joke. She's a fake. And anybody who watches her videos and those like her, who's very good in talking about politics, <laughs> or talking about how she feels about other people in this material world just to find a common ground, a mutual ground of common similarity with you. That's something you need to really think. Is this person truly spiritual? Or maybe this person is truly stuck in the material world pretending to be spiritual. There's a difference. Again, I'm not here to attack anybody. I really don't care. <laughs> Our angels know I don't care. It takes a lot to make me care. She was a witch. She'd be 50% successful the, the most. Close to that, at least you're successful, you know. But since you're not at all anything, pretending to be someone you're truly not, most definitely not an angel. Because an angel will never light a red candle. Never. Ever. Oh, with that being said, I'm going to do the best I can to not get so frustrated and annoyed. Because these are the kinds of things that just... You want to play a part, you should take acting skills. It'd be best if you go to Hollywood or Bollywood. Hey, go for it because it seems to be working for other people who are fake trying to make this like a show when it comes to spirituality it's not a show it's real and you don't know the effects that you do to other souls and other beings when you're doing something only for money it's insulting and to call yourself an angel i'd be ashamed if our Lord God would face you, I'm sure you'd be on your knees crying. Your own political point of view, which has nothing to do with spirituality. Nothing. To open portals that you have no right to be doing. To say that you're closing them, but in reality you're being an instrument to open it. You're being fooled by the demon who's beside you. Yet you are, you don't even know that. You're not even aware of that. You see, this is the reason why true spiritual beings don't talk. We don't talk, okay? You want to you wanna see a legit witch? A legit witch is not going to talk to you, okay? They're not going to even video anything. A true spiritual being does not care about fame. All they care about is power. Has nothing to do with entertaining. So, what is my point here? Be careful who you watch. Be careful who you listen to. Because not everybody is what you think they are. And if you watch a video and then all of a sudden you have paranormal activity in your home or things start flying or you feel like you're being touched or your dreams are really horrible, etc. Or all of a sudden you feel like you're having panic attacks you can't understand. Now you know best not to watch it again. Now you know best, stay away.
Now you know best to heed my advice when I say, be careful what you watch. Please, I'm saying this because I truly care for each and every one of you. Each one of us has to learn from our mistakes. Again, you have to think of what you're doing, okay? When you're watching something, you are receiving. You are receiving. That is why I said, be careful what you watch, who you listen to, what you choose to put in your ear and in your brain, who you choose to let in you and your space. These demons are not stupid idiots. They're very smart. They're very, very intelligent. And they will always go for your weaknesses. Looking based on your 3D eyes, that's not gonna help you when it comes to spirituality. Because everything in spirituality is covered in a veil. Remember that. I'm saying this again because I truly care for all of you and I want to make sure that you are going to be okay. It's 9.44. Okay, so with that being said, this is the video for today and I'll look into the emails. There are a few of you who emailed me, but you did not follow instructions. If I ask you to send me a photo, send me a photo. If you do not feel comfortable sending me a photo for whatever reason, then I cannot help you. Point blank. I don't have time to waste. I don't want to waste yours. So please, before you email me, read the description and follow the instructions carefully. Do visit the website if you haven't. Um, I'm still working on the website for those of you who are waiting for the password. Again, I am the type of spiritual being, I do not post everything. It will be password protected. And I will only allow those who are truly of light to have access to it. I'm not a joke. <laughs> I love you all. Have a wonderful time. God bless you.